Welcome to another unit in this SQL course. In a previous session, we talked about how we can generate new columns and directly autofill these newly generated columns. However, what are you going to do if you already have a column and just want to fill this in, autofill this, afterwards? So more or less to update the content of this column. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So if you want to update this, well, we use the function update. Then we have to tell him which table should he update. In this case, should be the products table. And we have to tell him with set what he should update, which column he should update. Here it's the column supplier equal to and sorry, equal to. And then in quotation marks, single quotation marks, what should be the content, the new content? Let's put here like XXX for we do not yet know the supplier. I save this. I'm going to close both of them. First off, we see here, this will change our table. That's the exclamation mark and let's call this the pen on the left thereof means he's going to write something into the table. Well, let's double click this. Yeah, he's going to modify my data in my table. Yes, he updated 11 rows. Let's have a look. Here, he entered into the same table of suppliers XXX for all of them, which we have. Well, we could connect this with different selections and say only for those people where this and this is the case. But the general idea is we can with existing columns replace information in our table. We could also go where this and this is the case there replace, for example, supplier with where this is the case replace therefore or every product weighing more then a certain amount, for example, put in cost for packaging and shipping 200, everything which is below cost and shipping 100. So something like this is nicely done via SQL with the update table name and then set functionality. And that's already everything I wanted to mention here in this unit. So I hope you enjoyed it. I say goodbye and see you next time.